Hi guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to bezel 12mm cabochon. Up until now I showed you how to make peyote bezel only for round beads like Rivoli and Chaton and now I think it's time to show you four square beads with rounded corners which are these beautiful cabochons. Support me by liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing with the bell if you still haven't. You might also become a member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are beads from Erica Sandor's collection. They were so nice to send me beads to test them and this is 12mm cushion cut cabochon and you will find links to unboxing of these collections in description and other tutorials done with these beads. Here I use two colors of 11 Delica beads that I bought separately from this collection and these are 15 Delica beads and these are earring findings in silver color and if you wonder where is the other cabochon here it is already did the first earring with it and this is fireline 0.05 inches or 0.12 millimeters and I'm using here size 11 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back and how I'm going to start this whole thing guys. So I want to bezel this cabochon and I have a chart from Eric and Sandor that gives me with how many beads should I start my peyote bezel for different sizes of cabochons and Rivoli and Chaton crystals and for 12 millimeter cabochon I should start with 36 beads okay and because it takes a lot of time to pick up 36 beads and to make sure that I did the right amount of beads I will do this off camera and I'll be back okay my friends and what I have here are exactly 36 silver beads and what I want to do is to just go one more time through all of them in circle okay slide those down It is a slow process as you might see. Okay, and I've been through all of them. Okay, my friends, and now I'm going to start with the peyote stitch. And if you're not familiar, it's easy. Just as I'm going out through this bit, I take a white bit and I go in the next silver. Just like this. And pull. Then I take another white bit. Skip the one that's on my way and I go in the next silver I take another white skip the one that's on my way and go in the next silver and I do this for the fourth time I take one white skip the one that's on my way and I go in the next silver And now guys, if I'm bezeling circular crystal, I will continue doing this, but because now I will be bezeling a square crystal, what I need to do is to go through one more bead 
So here I'm skipping two beats. And this step here will help me form the angle later. Okay, so this is the difference that I do compared to when I bezel Rivoli or Chaton, which are round. Okay, now I take one white bead and I go in the next silver. And I will repeat this four times again, like here. So it's one. two, three, and when I add the fourth beat, guys, instead of going through one beat, I go through two, and I pull. And I'm going to continue this from this side and from this side and I'll show it faster. Okay, and when I add the fourth one, I go through two. And I repeat the same thing. one and go through two then I'm going through this white and I'm taking a silver another silver another silver And here two silvers. And I will continue this the same way. This row I'm going to be adding only silvers. Where I have one bit to add. I go like this. And where I have two beads to add, I go like this with two silvers. Okay, and I will continue this until the end. Okay, and I have this. And now, guys, I want to have one more row of beads. This time it will consist of white beads. Okay, white. White. And here where I have two, I just go through it. Don't add anything. And I will continue adding white beads, just filling in the gaps like I did before. It's really easy and really pleasant, nothing difficult.
Okay, and that is the last hole that I need to fill. And now, just to imagine... Just a second. Now, just to imagine what my next step would be, I will take this cabochon and put it here. As you may see, this is too loose now, but we will make it fit. But you can imagine how it will, it will surround my bead, my crystal. Okay? So, now, what I need to do next is to exit through this bead. Now, in order to make the curve I desire, I will need to add 50 nos. Okay? They are with smaller diameter and they will create this curve that I need. Okay, I take one and again I'm just filling gaps here. Okay, and here where I have two 11 os, I will add only one 15 o. And this, with this, I will reduce the diameter of my work. And in this way, I will be able to trap my crystal inside it. I'm adding the beads one by one and when I reach this angle here where I have two beads I will take just one and go through it and when I pull I get this curve you see guys the diameter is smaller now so I will be able to make to make the right casing for my crystal I need to make the diameter smaller so it won't be loose. You see, wherever I have to, I add one. And here I have my last two 11 o's and I want at one 15 o, which is smaller size than the 11 o's. And I go like this through the white and through the 11 o. Okay, you see how it looks. Let me check now how. Oh, it's much better, but. Here, guys, I need to add another row of 15 O's, just filling the gaps. Now I add them like this, filling in the gaps, one by one, everywhere. And I'm sure if you have done everything up to here, you will be able to make this row by yourself. Just add beads everywhere and meet me here. Okay, guys, and I'm up to here to my last step where I'm adding my last bead and filling my last gap. Now you see how it looks. Then what I want to do is to go in this direction through as many beads as I can. Diagonally. I don't want any thread showing. That is why I'm going like this. Diagonally. And I want to exit through one of the beads that, that are sticking out. Now, guys, it's time to put my cabochon here inside. Because after these two rows that I will do, it will stay fit in my casing. Okay, so what I want to do is the same thing. You see those beads that are sticking out. I will be filling the gaps the same way I showed you on the top at one 15 o between the 11 o's then at another 
15 ohm between the 11 ohms. Then add another one. And here guys at the angles where I have two, I will add just one and it is absolutely the same thing like I did from the other side. Then another silver, go through one. You see what I have? Another 15 oh silver, go through one. And another and this is the last one and I'm skipping two and I'm going through the following. Okay, then I take one and I go in the next. And I will continue these guys. Here I add one, uh, where I have two at the angle one, one, and here at the angle where I have two beads, I add just one, and I will finish this row and meet you here. And I'm here, guys, at the last angle where I'm adding the last seed bead. You see here I have two but when I add one the diameter shrinks and it fits perfectly. So now maybe you can guess what's coming up next. Just another just another simple row where I add 15 O's to fill in the gaps. It is so easy and so simple just going and filling in all the gaps that I have on my way. And I'm sure that you're gonna be able to make this one as well by yourself. When I'm ready with this row, I will meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row and you see now everything fits and I want to go in this direction through some beads. Okay. Now I will turn my work like this and I will continue adding silver beads. Here I want to add one silver between those two white beads. You see I'm exiting out of this white, skipping the next one and I'm adding one silver. Then I'm taking three and I'm skipping this silver edge here and I go in the next white. So I'm going through the white beads in this row. You see, these are the whites, one, two, three, four. I'm going through them when I add the beads. So now I want to take one again and I'm going in the next white. Then I'm taking three and I go through the following. Then again, I take just one and go through the white. After that, I take three beads and again, I skip this angle here and go through the white again. I'm going through the white beads all the time and I'm alternating one fifteen o three fifteen o's. Okay, so now I just added three fifteen o's. So now I add one, then I'm going to add three, then 
one and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here I need three. And I finish this row. And now guys, I'm almost ready. I just want to make an additional step, which is to add more beads at the angles. Okay, how I do this, I just reach here the angle. go through this silver, take three more beads and skip the central one and go through the next one. And then in this direction, through as many beads as you can. Okay. I added three more beads at the angle. Now I want to go and reach the next angle. Okay, and I exit here at the angle and I add three beads. Okay, guys, and off camera, I will add three beads here and three beads here and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I'm just adding here my last three beads from this row, just like this. Then what I need, guys, is to attach my earring finding. And I will zigzag through my beads. And I want to exit again through these three beads that I just added, through the middle of them, I mean. Okay, so this is the middle one. Okay, guys, and now I'm here exiting out of this bit and what I want to do is to attach my earring finding, but I want to attach it in this way. So this would be the front part of my earring. This is the back and this is the front where the crystal is showing. So pay attention how you attach your earring finding. I'm going like this. And I want to reinforce And now I want to make a knot here, go twice through the loop I've made, pull. Maybe it's better to do this at the back, in fact. But my thread is not showing here, so it doesn't matter. And now I'm cutting my tail thread. And my 12 millimeter cabochon earring is ready.
Okay guys, and now my 12 millimeter cut and cut cabochon earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button if you still haven't. Please like, share and comment, share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Become a member to support me, which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.